my friends Alex, Luke, Angel, and myself are proud to present to you Act 3, Scene 1 of William Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. You didn't think I'd get Cass's file and not film my private rehearsals, right? <clears throat> we open on Viola and a clown in Olivia's garden. Save thee, friends, and thy music. Dost thou live by thy tiber? What's a tabor? It's like a drum or... Oh, I really don't know how Professor Pinch is going to interpret that for a space version. Or the garden. There are probably drums in space. Luke! Oh. You're lying. Uh. <clears throat> Save thee, friends, and thy music. Dost thou live by the tabor? No, sir. I live by the church. Art thou a churchman? Um. No such matter, sir. I do live by the church, for I do live at my house, and my house doth stand by the church. Okay, can you give it a little... What? I'm not acting in this play. I thought you just wanted to read lines. Yeah, but I need something to go off of. I might as well be reading to a wall. I pray she doth fast forward it through this part in hopes. Okay, you know what? I pretty much already know this part. Let's just skip to... Enter Sir Toby Belch and Sir Andrew. Too bad we have no Drew here to read the part of Sir Andrew. Can you read both, Angel? Yeah, sure. Save you, gentlemen! And you, sir? Divulgar, monsieur. Et vous aussi, votre souverture. Mariah enter, but we don't have an, uh, Mariah right now, and she doesn't even say anything. I say, my matter hath no voice to your own most pregnant and vouchsafed ear, blah, 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 and then everyone, but Olivia leaves. How can you have a pregnant ear? Alex! My Olivia. So, you take my hand. My duty, madam and most humble service. What is your name? Cesario is your servant's name, fair princess. <laughs> oh, what a deal of scorn looks beautiful in the contempt and anger of his lip. A murderer's guilt shows not itself more soon than love that would sing hint. Love's night is noon. Cesario, by the roses of spring, by maidenhood, honor, truth, and everything, I love thee so, that murder all that pride, all thy pride, nor wit nor reason can my passion hide. Do not extort thy reasons from this cause, for that I woo thou therefore hast no cause, but rather reason thus with reason fetter, love sought is good, but given unsought better. By innocence I swear, and by my youth I have one heart, one bosom, and one truth, and that no woman has, nor never none shall mistress be of it, save I alone. And so, adieu, good madam. Never more will I my master's tears to you deplore. Yet come again, for thou perhaps mayst move that heart, which now abhors to like his love. Oh my god! Alex, that was amazing! I wish you were playing Olivia and not Maddie. Oh, I love that scene. Olivia is so in love with Viola. She just wants to be in love. And isn't it funny how I have to say that my heart could never love a woman? For the record, I totally ship Olivia and Viola. I'll be right back. Bathroom, if that's okay with the lady. But hurry back. Thy mistress's heart already feels the absence of thee. Stage five over here. Uh, so... Angel, yeah. now that I have you alone, will you please tell me what Alex is getting me for Christmas? I don't know what you're talking about. Aha! 
so you aren't making me something. Even if I did know, would you really want me to tell you? Wouldn't you rather be surprised? Want me to turn this thing off? Well, I suppose I have subjected you all to enough Shakespeare for the day. Although, I really don't think you can ever have enough Shakespeare in your life. I mean, it is so relevant.